In this video, I'm going to be going over 10 practice questions for your Security Plus exam, and particularly SYO 601. Now, you can also use these questions if you're studying for the older Security Plus exams also. All right, my name is Andrew Ramdial. I'm one of the instructors here at Technical Institute of America, where we do training in a variety of CompTIA, Cisco, Microsoft, PMP, CIS, PCH, and so on. I'm also an instructor for many of those things I just mentioned. All right. Let's go and knock these questions out. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so the first question, where's my mouse? All right, first question up. Now, by the way, a lot of these questions are going to have some commands in there. So if you haven't got to your command practicing section of your studying, make sure that you check it out. All right, practice question. When a security analyst is trying to find the domain information of a DNS server on a Linux system, which of the following tools will he use? A, IP, uh, IP config, B, if config, C, TCP dump or D is dig. Okay, you're on a Linux box. What command are we going to be using here to find DNS information on that particular Linux server? And the answer here is dig. So dig is a utility that allows you to look for DNS information on a Linux box. It's like the NS lookup on a Linux server or any Linux box. All right, don't forget, uh, in our, in the class, we did a whole bunch of commands. If you follow the course, make sure to practice those commands on your own, not just watch us do it. Practice question two. A security analyst has received a file with a .pcap extension. What type of file, type of a file is this? A, error file, B, security log file, C, capture, packet capture file, and D, packet manipulation file. The answer here is going to be, hopefully you guys got this, is a packet capture file. So packet capture file is what you would save like in Wireshark. So if you do, if you remember in the course, me using Wireshark, I showed you how to sniff traffic on Wireshark. If you, if you save that packet capture in Wireshark, it's generally say it's a PCAP with a PCAP extension. Practice question three. A security analyst using a Linux server wants to add a few different entries to the log file. What Linux utility would accomplish this? A, logger, B, log, C, grep, G-R-E-P, D, cap. And the answer here is going to be, hopefully you guys got this, pretty easy one logger. So that allows you to basically, logger is a utility in Linux that basically allows you to modify the log files on Linux. Question four. An organization has obtained evidence that they believe can be used to help prosecute an external hacker. What is important for the organization to follow? A, legal hole. B, chain of custody. C, event logs. D, event procedures. The answer here so when you gather evidence, you want to make sure that you follow the chain of custody. So the chain of custody is basically a document that tracks all of the movement, the collections, and who's dealing with the evidence. So who collected it, when they collected it, where they put it, who's, where it was stored, how it was stored, who took it, who analyzed it, and so on. This really helps to ensure that the evidence is analyzed correctly, it's not tampered with, and it basically maintains the integrity of the evidence. Practice question five. What order should the organization follow if they suspect the computer has been used as a part of a hack? A, the order of evidence. B, the order, the order of volatility. C, evidence order. D, the acquisition order. And the answer here is going to be... So the order of volatility basically is a sequence of how digital evidence can be wiped out. So for example, it starts out with things like the CPU cache. So that type of cache memory in your CPU is easily overwritten different types of cache files and RAM and so on, and then your hard drive information. So over time, if you don't gather this information quickly, the information could be written and the evidence could be lost forever. So make sure you know your order of volatility, not just for your exam, but when you're working in forensics also. Practice question six, a security analyst would like to view when a particular user logged in and what files were accessed. What log file will contain this information? A, system log, B, network log, C, security log, and D, authentication log. The answer here is going to be security log. So the security log, for example, the security log file on Windows, if you look at it, it'll show you, if you have audited and turned on on certain folders, it'll show you who accessed it, when they access it, when they log. It'll also show you when you log in and log out of a particular system. So it basically shows your user movements, what files were accessing when they logged in and out. Practice question number seven. The, once again, you know, a lot of Linux command, I did put a bunch of commands in this particular question set. You saw us do it, make sure you guys do it also, right? You have all those videos in, in the lab section of your course. What Linux command can be, can an administrator use to view the last 10 items in a text file? A, head, 
B tail, C cat, D grub. And the answer here is going to be tail. Now, why? Because it says the last 10 items. If not, you can use head and see the last, see, see the beginning of it. Practice question number eight. An organization has experienced a major flood in one of their data centers. Which of the following should the organization implement immediately? A, business, business continuity plan. B, disaster recovery plan. C, communication plan. D, stakeholder management. And the answer here is going to be the disaster recovery plan. So a disaster recovery plan is generally written for some kind, um, for a specific disaster. Sometimes it's a general thing that the organization will follow. So the moment there's some kind of disaster, you implement that particular plan to tell the company, okay, how are we going to bring it back up? Question number nine. After a disaster, an organization moved its process into another site. Which of the following documents should they be referring to? A, business continuity. B, disaster recovery. C, continuity of operations planning. And D, incident plan. And the answer here is going to be Hope you guys got this. So this particular one, the continuity of operations, basically is, is going to really outline how companies move between sites, especially during a disaster when one of them dropped. And finally, question 10. Hopefully you guys remember uh, your particular evidence step, your incident steps. The computer incident response team has disconnected a computer from the network after a previous incident. What step in the incident response process is this? A, preparation, B, identification, C, containment, D, eradication. So what, if they disconnect it from the network, what they're really doing is containing that system. So if there's any type of malware, it's not going to spread throughout the entire network. Okay, that ends that there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this particular session. Uh, we have a lot more of these to come in the coming weeks and so on. So if you like what we did here today, Subscribe to our channel, give the video a like. Also, leave a comment on what questions you like, what questions you, t you found was too easy or too hard. If you want me to explain something, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. And I'll see you in the next video.